University of North Texas. Students will often ask me what they can do to improve their technique, especially they want to make it faster. But I think that there's no point in trying to become faster without trying to make clarinet playing easier. And I think the best way to make clarinet playing easier is to try and play the clarinet with our body as close to its natural position as possible. So first we want to start and just let our arms dangle and sort of hang, right, without any tension and without holding them out at all, but just allowing them to dangle really freely. For students who play in marching band, this is sometimes a challenge because marching band requires students to have their arms in an unnatural and held up position. So while this is great for marching band, it's not really great for clarinet technique. And we want to, again, just allow our arms to be nice and free. Also for clarinet playing, we want to just pick up our hands from the elbow. And once our hands are in that position, we want to observe a few of the features. For instance, we want to observe that the thumb is merely an extension of the forearm. So it's a straight line from the tip of our thumb to our elbow. And that the shape between our thumb and the rest of our hand is sort of a U, or maybe a backwards C. That our thumb points a different direction than the rest of our fingers, and we want to try and keep it like that if at all possible. Our fingers have a natural three-way curve. One, two, three. When we play the clarinet, we want to try and maintain those features. One other critical thing to be aware of in clarinet playing is that we're not really holding the clarinet. We really are simply balancing the clarinet between the thumb underneath the thumb rest and our top teeth. If we have the thumb nice and secure under the thumb rest and our top teeth, we don't really need to hold the clarinet, rather balance the clarinet and just let our fingers cover the tone holes. So now let's talk about how to find the best hand position and the most ergonomic hold for the clarinet. You want to securely hold your clarinet with the left hand while continuing to dangle the right hand. Again, being aware of the natural position. From that position, place your thumb on the bottom of the right hand joint of the clarinet and just slide it up the back of the clarinet until it is in the natural position. You'll observe in that position that the thumb, if mirroring the hour hand of a clock, is gonna be at the 11 o'clock position on the clock. Once the thumb is in that position, simply put the rest of the fingers over the tone holes using the fleshy parts of the fingers to cover. And you'll notice that there are touch points in the right hand. The middle knuckle of the right hand index finger will touch the bottom side key and the right hand pinky will touch lightly against one of the pinky keys. For me, it's the F sharp, C sharp key. Our left hand is very similar. To find that ideal position, again, just pick up your hand from the elbow, start with the thumb. So with our left hand thumb, we're gonna let that be at a one o'clock position if our thumb were to mirror the hour hand of a clock. The touch point in the left hand is that the middle knuckle of the left hand index finger touches the A flat key and the first knuckle on the left hand index finger touches the A key. The pinky again will touch one of the pinky keys. For me, it's the C sharp, G sharp key. And again, the fingers naturally curve over the tone holes. Again, just letting the fleshiest parts of the fingers cover those tone holes. So once our hands are in this nice position, we'll just need to talk about the finger action and the best finger action to have fast technique. And we'll do that in the next video.